James 4, verses 7 and 8 say, Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he'll come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. When I read that passage, I think about the Lord and the devil being at opposite ends. I picture my desk here. God at one end, the devil at the other. You can't draw closer to one without drawing away from the other. Notice if you resist the devil, he'll flee from you. Evidently, he doesn't like rejection. He runs away when we resist him. The more important point is that when we draw close to God, he draws close to us. Can you picture the God of heaven, the one who sits on the great eternal throne, moving coming closer to us? Several years ago, Charles Hodge, who preached in Fort Worth and then down in Duncanville, preached a series of sermons on the prodigal son. He put those sermons in a small book entitled, Will God Run? I don't remember much about the sermons, but I do remember the title. Can you picture God running to meet someone? Now, in that case, he was running to meet someone who had been unfaithful and was returning home. In James chapter 4, I don't see that as necessarily part of the equation. We draw near to him, and he draws near to us. I suppose we need to ask a rather practical question, don't we? How do you draw closer to God? And the answer that I've thought of is that it is primarily a matter of attitude, maybe a matter of desire. What do you want? I appreciate all the spiritual disciplines such as read the scriptures and pray and serve. All of those have their place. They are very important. But you could do all of those with the wrong attitude and you wouldn't draw any closer to God. There has to be that great desire, the desire to be what he wants us to be. Notice also that the passage sounds quite current as it says, wash your hands. During these days of the virus that's afflicting us, we're talking about wash your hands for 20 seconds and hot water, use soap. James isn't talking about dirt or germs or bacteria. He's talking about sin. One of the main things that we have to do in drawing closer to the Lord is to get rid of the sin in our lives. We find something that isn't right, we need to get rid of it. Have that basic desire to be what the Lord wants you to be. Make that effort then to draw closer to him. If on a daily basis we'll work at drawing closer to him, we are sure that he will draw closer to us. And when we do that each day, that makes each day a great day. I hope you have a great day today.